this is what I've been calling the tale of two industries. It's a whole theory that I've been putting together for the last few years. Again, you have a primitive industry that is clearly observably handmade. It lacks precision and symmetry. We found the tools. The Egyptians drew the scenes. The artifacts matched the tools and techniques. And then you have this advanced industry, visibly sophisticated, usually very hard stone is the other characteristic. It, the, these artifacts, as we're doing analysis on them, are showing this depth of precision and complexity that's phenomenal. The vases are, are just, this is where they become a smoking gun to this whole argument, I Can think. You Basically, they're coming back with precision in terms of circularity, flatness, like centering, um, numbers that are, are very much equate to some of the best industrial processes that we do today in things like aerospace industry. So where it's really important to be within two or three or four thousandth, thousandths of an inch of perfection for the, the parts we make for jet engines or rocket engines, those are the numbers that we're seeing come back on a lot of these vessels. Not, this is, again, this, these are levels of precision that are not visible to the naked eye. I mean, you're talking human hair, like a sheet of printer paper is like six or seven thousandths of an inch thick. A human hair is two to three or four thousandths thick. And you're seeing sometimes tolerances even lower than that. So you, you, it's not something you can feel or see or touch, but we see it again and again. And the only way we can achieve those sort of tolerances today is with very advanced machines.